word given to the church at Sardis. The congregations who worshipped in Sardis. Jesus says, wake up. In other words, come face to face with not your issues, not your problems, not your hang-ups, hurts, and habits, but your sin. We make all of those extra words part of our vocabulary because it doesn't sound quite as cruel as what it is. It's sin. Jesus says, wake up. Admit the diagnosis of the Holy Spirit upon your life and get out of your sleeping slumber. Jesus says, wake up. And then he says, strengthen what remains of your faith. In other words, return to the book of books. The knowledge of God. Revive your prayer time. Reunite with other believers again. Then Jesus continues. He says, look back. In other words, remember those first moments in which you met Jesus Christ. Remember that fresh love you had to share Jesus with everybody you came in contact with. Remember what the Lord Jesus has done for you. Remember how far away from him you really were and how he brought you into the fold. Remember from the darkness in which he brought you out of and brought you into his marvelous life. Remember the horrible pit you were stuck in. It was called sin. It was my clay when Jesus found you, reached his arm down towards you, and pulled you out and established and put your feet on a solid rock. Remember that. Don't ever forget that. Jesus says, hold on. Keep on. Keeping on. Keep on keeping on obeying the word of the Lord. Be consistent. Strive to apply the scriptures to your daily life. And then body, Jesus says, whatever is wrong, make sure you repent of it. In other words, if your faith is more fluff than substance, admit that to God. If your faith is more fluff than substance, admit that to God. Let go of your past and do an about face. Turn around, says Jesus, and come back to him. Fully agree with Jesus that you've walked too long, too far in the hypocrite shoes. You've walked too long, too far with a phony face. You've walked too long, too far with an anemic soul. Supernatural faith falls into the greatness of God. Watch this. Superficial faith fails to see and look for the grace of God and the greatness of God. Supernatural faith shines the light. But superficial faith finds it easier to repost, tweet, Snapchat, or share the dark domains. Supernatural faith pierces the darkness with light and with prayer Promotes abundant life in Jesus' name, but superficial faith, watch this, hides away, hoping no one will really ask a reason for the hope that lives within them. Mm -hmm. So is your faith supernatural? Or is your faith superficial? That diagnosis is necessary from time to time. Pilgrims, now is the time to be another voice in the wilderness, purposefully wielding the light beams of Jesus and looking for places to shine the brightest. This is not the time to be echoing this onslaught of evil. This is not the time to hibernate. This is the time to incubate light and life. This is a time to stand up with the truth. Stand up for truth. Stand up and speak out against evil and decay of our day. This is the time to shine on, to shine bright, to make sure that your spiritual batteries are always charged to the fullest. So I was praying this morning. I thought of something. All of us today are very conditioned to having our cell phones charged. And when they're not, we can be most miserable. Wow. Um, 
got to know me side. You look at it, if you forgot your charge or your portable charge, and you look at it, you're down to one cell, and it's going to be a long day. Right? Especially if you do everything through it. It's going to be a long day. And you wonder how you're going to even function the rest of the day with one cell. Oh my goodness. Isn't it amazing? But by art, we replace with something that's about this big. Yeah. That governs our life. We have allowed to govern our life. Uh -huh. That we would be more concerned about the one cell than our phone than the one cell in our soul. We would never think of going several days without recharging the cell phone, because after all, that's my main line of the life. But we would go several weeks, yeah. months, years, without recharging our spiritual batteries to make sure we can flick the switch when necessary. It's not time to hibernate. It's time to incubate the new life by standing up with the truth for the truth and speaking it out against the evil decay of our day. So who in their right mind would not desire to be found in the greatness of God? Yes, I go back to my first statement today. There is a certain security and personal satisfaction when the power of the light is close by. In our present complex culture, when right is often considered wrong, and evil is promoted as good, when truth and error are switched around and morality is turned upside down, people are still looking, folks, for direction. They're still looking for light. They're still looking for life. I wonder today who is heaven going to use. Who is heaven going to use to turn their hearts toward the Lord? Who's going to be their city of direction? Who's going to help direct their path? Who's going to help secure their future? Only those whose batteries are charged and all the time are used to flicking the switch. Matter of fact, you leave it on all of the time. Shine on, Dover. Shine on. Shining your light is falling into the greatness of God. Yes. For it's in Him. Not only do we move, live, and have our being, but the psalmist said, our strength, our life, our life is in you, Lord. You are the light giver. We are reflectors of that light. As you and I prepare our hearts this morning for the table of the Lord, think about that. When was the last time you intentionally flicked the switch to the on position? When was the last time God called upon you to flick the switch to the on position? May God help all of us to become more bold, ever burning, ever shining, ever directing spotlights that always lift up the name of Christ. Because we know this, don't we? If we lift up the name of Jesus. He has already declared, I will, because of my light-giving source, draw them to myself. Amen? Amen? And that is the word of the Lord for you and me this morning. Shine on, pilgrim. Shine on.